A UFO expert was found dead of mysterious circumstances, and I want to talk about this with you, Hassan, today. His name was Max Spears. He was a 39-year-old father of two, and he was found dead on a sofa in Poland where he had gone to give a talk on conspiracy theories and UFOs. He's well-established within the UFO community. Uh, he was ruled to have died from natural causes despite there being no post-mortem examination carried out on his body, autopsy, there was no autopsy, and even weirder is that his mother, Vanessa Bates, has the receipts, she has a text message from him saying, quote, your boy's in trouble if anything happens to me, investigate prior to his death. So some people close to Spears have said that he was, they claim that he was vomiting a black liquid when he died in this Warsaw apartment. Um, and then a friend of his says, quote, a person has died here and I don't think it's good enough that somebody who just took normal medication should end up vomiting, spewing black liquid, whatever it was. Shortly after that, whatever length of time it was, died. So a lot of the UFO chasers that are fans of his, that have followed his work, are saying that people that go, get too close to the truth about UFOs and the existence of a higher consciousness or alien Aliens out there are bumped off by the Secret Service or the so-called Men in Black, uh, loosely talked about in the film franchise, very loosely. So uh, his mom has been speaking out against this. She says, quote, Max was a very fit man who was in good health, and yet he apparently just died suddenly on a sofa. A lot of this is not adding up. Even eerier is that Polish authorities are refusing to release any paperwork to the family um, because, absurdly, she needs to get his written permission to get the paperwork about his death. But he's dead. Strange, well, right? With well, those more. Hold on, but that seems like just like a Polish oddity in the legislation. However, what more paperwork do you need than a text message receipt stating, "If I die, investigate my death." That's pretty. In normal instances, I'm assuming in Poland, mm -hmm. as uh, as dark as their culture may be, they still probably aren't like, "I'm going to die soon, so investigate." Therefore, it's eerie. It's yeah. eerie. And furthermore, uh, the postmortem examination that was carried out by a pathologist in East Kent uh, says that uh, Not more West than. West Kent. No. East Kent. So there was an autopsy that was carried out. However, it was more than two months later, and she doesn't even know the results of the investigation of the autopsy. Uh, she also wants to add, this is again his mother saying, quote, apparently he had not suffered any obvious physical injuries, but he could have been slowly poisoned, which is why the results of the toxicology tests from his autopsy are so important. So his mom is really now sort of sounding the alarm saying, I need more information here. It's really strange that I am being restricted in my access to information. Hassan, you know how I feel about conspiracy theories. I want to buy into this that maybe he got too close to knowing the truth about aliens. What do you think? That's it. It's confirmed. Aliens are real. This person obviously You're came too me. close to the truth, and uh, he suffered the consequences, and that's what happens. What do you think, when though? When you're a truth teller. You think that's true? No, dude. I think aliens are, is a very high likelihood that aliens do exist, or they might even be among us. Possibly not in the humanoid forms that we assume they are, because we're a bunch of narcissistic assholes as an entire uh, organism. Um, but the whole concept that, like, the government off this person is absolutely absurd and it's conspiracy fodder and it's for people that like yourself that like to believe in this sort of thing I'm sure that he wasn't poisoned I'm sure that the black liquid that he was vomiting out was regular blood that may have been perceived in that way at the time or maybe he was poisoned by one of his friends that wanted to make it seem like there was this conspiracy theory narrative that would really amplify the point that they're trying to make and it's terrible, and it's awful that this person has died, especially because he's a father of two, but does that mean that aliens do exist? I don't think so, no matter what Hillary Clinton says to advance her campaign to make it seem like she's the cool, young, hip lady, mm -hmm. and constantly is out there like, is there, is, do aliens exist? I don't know, but we'll find out when I'm president. Like, that's what she does. I don't know if you knew this. I don't think aliens are... Uh, in existence in the way that we think they do are. Do you believe in sort of these larger government organizations like these secret service organizations or the men in black? Do you believe that they are in existence sort of guarding the information that we can know about aliens? No. I think that's absurd. That part is absurd. I think that yes, there are definitely government organizations that operate in secrecy to ensure that we are protected as a nation or whatever other narrative that may fit their uh, purpose at the time, like let's say corporate espionage or let's say destabilizing the Middle East by putting up, you know, religious leaders in certain countries that 
the American government may or may not control. These are very real things. These aren't conspiracy theories, and they usually come out years later, like false flag operations, like Bay of Pigs in Cuba. Now, having said that, those are just because those are real, those operations are real, and you can arrive at the logical conclusion that these government, uh, these government facilities do operate in a um, malicious or not malicious, depending on your perspective, but like in a secretive way, doesn't mean that aliens do exist and they're hiding it. What benefit would they have from hiding it? And also, why are the alien, like, it's such an egotistical, narcissistic perspective that humans have that these people somehow have, these aliens somehow have access to the technology that would allow them to come here, but then they would uh, abide by the rules of these puny humans? Do you think, if an ants have an existing hierarchy, they have an order, they have a structure, we're obviously way more advanced than ants, do you give a fuck what an ant thinks about you stepping on it? No! Just for fun, you, you sometimes kids even put a magnifying glass on an ant's, uh, you know, colony or whatever. That's messed up! But the argument I'm making is if there was um, life forms that made it out here to our planet, that means that they obviously have technology that is far beyond uh, the advancements that we have come to as a society, and they're far more advanced than we are in general, and they're not of the same, uh, like they're not from our organism, like they're not humans, so why would they care about our, uh, why would they care about our planet, or why would they care about our existing social norms, and, and be like, oh, you know what, well, this government agency captured me somehow, and um, even though I'm a much more advanced species, I'm going to listen to them and sit in captivity here, even though I'm not a humanoid organism to begin with. Well, there is a lot to unpack from this video, so we want to hear from you guys in the comment section below. What do you think about this story? Do you think there is a conspiracy afoot? What do you think about aliens and secret government organizations? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, and we'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.